page 58, Valse. It's a very famous melody from Chopin, or by Chopin. And we get to use the pedal here. I'll talk about that a little more. Go through the process of learning a piece of music. I look it over, I see it's about four lines long. Clef signs are still treble and bass clef. There's no sharps or flats in the key signature. This happens to be in the key of A minor. It could be C major or A minor, and you say, well, how do you know which it is? Well, they sound different. C major's here, A minor, the harmony sounds different. But a lot of times, and not always, but a lot of times, a piece will end on its main chord, what we call the one chord. So a key in C major would end on a C chord. Yeah, an A minor piece would end on an A minor chord. If I look at the end, the last major, that is an A minor chord. We don't have all the notes, we're leaving out the E, but it's still an A minor chord. So it tells me we're in A minor. Also, I'm familiar with the piece, not having to know it's an A minor. Three, four time signature, well, it's a waltz, makes sense. Let's take it one hand at a time because we got accidentals going on in things. Right hand, you're starting here. You're not staying here, but you are. It's a one, two, three. And then just come down here. The little finger needs to stay here. You're just coming out. One, one, three, one, two. And then second line, second measure, a D and an F, but they're both sharp, so it's here. And then a D and an E. They, they give you the natural sign. It's a natural anyway. That's why it's in parentheses. It's a courtesy sign. Just make sure it's a D natural. And then you come up here to a G sharp C. And then you're back to what you were doing. Left hand. It's got the melody going on. And it's, it's here, five and a two. The reason is because we're sort of in this position. We want to connect these notes. And if we do this, we're kind of out of place here. So we're going to go five and two. That A, that's a dotted half note. We got two voices. Remember, we've had multiple voices where the stems are going in opposite directions. There are different values too. The point is, you got to hold the dotted half note down while you play the eighth notes. One and two and and, and cross over for one note. One and two and and we did a four there to get us up. We're kind of getting ready for what's coming. D sharp, reach up. Now we're here. We crawl all the way up to there and connected everything with the hands. Aren't we wonderful? And then you got one beat rest to come back down and do it again. Two. Put the hands together. Now I'm first going to hesitate. I don't care. I want to know how the hands are working together. So it's here and then here. Sounds weird, but it's what's written. I don't know. And at the end of the second line, that B is by itself because you have a rest in the end. You got to get back down here anyway when you play. You got to get the left hand ready to go. And then as you play this in the third line, you get the right hand down. So I work out the hands together, and then I go back over it very slowly and carefully, and I work out the hesitations. So it's a steady beat. And once I have that, I think about the articulation. This is very connected. This. I would connect all of that together. All of that, to me, all of that is one long sentence. The left hand, or the right hand, you have the two note slurs. Down, up, rest. Don't cut the second note short because you have a rest after it's down, up. Very, very careful. Between the second and third line, you can lift up. Here we can have a little, it's a new phrase. So it's very connected, this piece. And then once I have that, then I think about the dynamics. They don't give any. Isn't that lovely? 
keep this on the soft side. You can you can swell up and down like they're showing, but keep this this melody. Okay. This is soft. Everything else is very soft. Good luck with that. Poco retardando to slow down. Keep in mind the melodies in the left hand, that's what we want to hear. This right hand needs to be out of the way in the background. So with the last two measures, you want to hear this? That's the melody. This, that's background. Mm -hmm. Then I think about the speed. They don't give a speed. Isn't that nice? It's kind of in the middle. One, two, three, one. It's almost a slow waltz. Yeah, keep it slow. And once I have all of that, then I'll add the pedal. It's going to be the legato pedal like we've been showing. Push the notes down first and then the pedal. And you change the pedal after you play the note. And it looks like they're changing the pedal on every measure. Then you get to the end of the second line. You see underneath it says Ped Sim abbreviations. It means pedal simile. It means keep doing the pedal the same way you've been doing it. That way they don't have to keep putting in the lines. Because they're lazy? I don't know. But it just means keep going with whatever you do. The simile can actually go anywhere in the music and can apply to anything. It depends on where it's at. Here they've even labeled it pedal. A lot of times you don't get the word ped. All you get is a sim. And that's, you're supposed to know if it's down there by the pedal mark, it's talking about the pedal. You just keep doing it in a similar manner. So at the beginning, I'm going to push the nose down first and then the pedal. I'm going to change it after I play the note. how they want you to pedal it. I think it sounds terrible. We don't want all this blurriness like in the second line here. Yuck. No. No, 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 no. Let's not go there. Ugh. So we adjust the pedal. You experiment. What can sound better? Well, for one thing, a lot of times in waltz type or three, four type, you can leave off the last note pedal, or just don't pedal the third beat, just leave it off. Just pedal the first two beats of every measure. much cleaner than this other junk that's going. Ugh. So that's what I would recommend you do. Lift the pedal up on the third beat of every measure. It says to fix this one. Other things may need other changes, but for this piece, that's what I'm going to recommend. Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'll give us three counts, and I'm going to pedal it like I suggested. One, ready, go.
to rest.